Now, we're going to do the cassata feeling. Cassata feeling is exactly the same. Now, you got your ricotta here. One kilo ricotta, you're probably going to need, uh, let's say, 200 grams of candied fruit, okay. chopped up. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can buy that. If you buy it in this form, it's a lot love, better because yeah. you can sort of it. Don't buy what they sell in the supermarket as peel, like orange peel, citrus peel. They, they, they're not really nice to do no. for this dish, no. okay? So you just add uh, this to the, to the filling, to the ricotta. Okay. And then, of course, we're going to need uh, some beautiful almonds as well. You don't need to toast them. Don't need to if toast you, them if or you peel want, them, you can. No. And um, next ingredient is chocolate, very important. Uh, um, is that compound chocolate? Was it a chocolate? No, that's, that that's what is called uh, coverture chocolate, mm -hmm. which is uh, real chocolate. Um, you have to be careful when you buy chocolate. Go yes. to a specialized shop um, because when you buy uh, whatever is called compound chocolate in uh, any shop, the chocolate and buttons, what you actually buy is. Uh, uh, Vegetable fats with uh, chocolate flavoring. Oh, that's gosh. not actually chocolate. So, really? Yeah, that's what you buy. So go to a specialized shop, buy some uh, real chocolate. A wonderful and man, uh, Elio from Pieroni Imports, uh, supplies us with that wonderful chocolate, and it, it really tastes like it's got that nice bitterness. Yeah. It's, it's probably actually a, bitter. It's about 50% yeah. um, actual cocoa, I think, yeah. isn't it, Michele? Should be the minimum. And uh, we just had this in as well. Mm. Okay, so what we have here is actually the mix for our for our cassata. Cassata. Now, you know, in Italy they do two different types of cassata. Cassata siciliana, as it's properly called, which is the one we're doing this evening. And there's also the cassata di Sulmona, which is in the Abruzzo region. Um, but did you know, Michele, that cassata gelata, which is what a lot of our viewers at home would know, which is the frozen version of this, um, is actually has been codified in Italy. Um, I think the National Congress sat in 1963 and they codified it along with Saltimbuca la Romana. It's wow, a little bit of trivial knowledge. Mm, so there you go. We're going to stick with the more traditional one, which is uh, what they do in Sicily. Yeah, and uh, this, uh, this cassata, you need the sponge. It's like a Madeira sponge. This is what we call in Italy pan di spagna, Spanish uh, bread. Mm. This is a sponge that I'm sure you can buy to your sh from your shops as well. Yes. Um, you just slice it. You can take the skin off if it's you like. It's fairly dry, isn't it, Michele? So yeah, yeah. So you do a slice of uh, at least uh, one centimeter maximum. Mm -hmm. and you just need to fold. Um, you can either do a bowl like this or a stainless steel one. It's up to you. Okay. Uh, if you're going to do a big one, I suggest you to put some paper some glade wrap or some uh, uh, baking it. paper so you show that uh, you won't have problem taking it out as well. Okay. So you just uh, just going to finish all this. Have a little bit coming out, it's not a problem. It's actually good. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, okay. Beautiful. So that's what we got. Now, Sometimes it's up to you. You can either put the filling like this. If the sponge is fresh, doesn't need any any uh, any liquor or, or anything. No? So what some people like to do is actually to put some uh, some uh, gelatina or some kind of really thin jam okay. to actually stick all the filling inside. But usually there's no there's no need. Okay. What do you do? Does that hold the ricotta mixture, does it? I suppose if you soak it through, it just, yeah. the whole thing falls apart. Yeah, and especially okay. if you're going to put something heavy on top, you're okay. going to have a wow. no problem with that. Beautiful, look at that. Mm. Although I know it's really rich, but it looks actually appetizing because <laughs> it's fresh ricotta and, and, and real fruit. Beautiful. And then uh, what do you do for the top? The one actually that they have in Sulmona, they actually soak the um, pang di spagna with uh, cinterbe, which is that really strong liqueur, Michele, that sends you right off. Wow, cinterbe. Mm. Mm, which is 72% uh, alcohol. Is it? Yeah. That's what I need tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end, what you do, you just cut a piece of sponge like this, mm -hmm. okay? You're just going to have uh, this on top and you press, okay? Really firm. Okay. Okay, and then... Michele, you make that look so easy, but I know that it's not. Around. That's just years of experience. Look at that. Beautiful. Catherine, we've got a good job for you to clean this up later. <laughs> what you should do now at this stage, you can either put... Um, you should put maybe another, another gla uh, 
plate like this if you want. Heavy weight? Yeah. And then you put it in the fridge for a couple of hours, at least.